Hello friends. Today I would like to read to you the book, Henry's Scissors. This is a biography by Jeanette Winter, and it is about the artist Henry Matisse. Let's get started. In a very small weaving town in France, a young boy named Henry Emile Bonnet Matisse watched his mother paint China. He wanted to paint China too. He drew pictures in the sand and he drew pictures in his school books. When Henry was a young man, he drew pictures in his law books and on contracts, deeds, and wills. Henry was sick in bed with appendicitis one winter. His mother gave him a box of paints and he painted until he was well. He kept painting and forgot about law and he left his small town to be an artist in Paris. Henry painted pictures day after day, year after year. He was happy and his paintings made people happy. But when Matisse was an old man, he fell ill. So ill he couldn't paint. So ill he couldn't sit up. So ill that he could only lie in bed and sleep. His paintings floated by in his dreams. I'm noticing that when he was a young man and he got sick, he took up painting and it became his passion. So I'm wondering, now that he is older and sick in bed again, is he going to find a new passion? Matisse finally opened his eyes and they were filled with sadness. Now he must remain in bed or use a wheelchair. Would he ever have the energy to paint again? When Matisse was strong enough to travel, he went to the seaside. The sea air helped him get well. Before long, he sat up and later, a little later, he drew. Then one day, Matisse picked up a pair of scissors and cut out shapes from painted paper. He was drawing with scissors. A pair of scissors is a wonderful instrument. And that's a quote from him. So I'm noticing now that he can't truly paint like he used to. He's painting in a different way. He's cutting out shapes with scissors. Look at these shapes and colors he's choosing. Oh, I love it. Matisse cut paper all day. His assistants painted paper for him all day. My pleasure in cutting things out grows even greater. Why didn't I think of this earlier? So our prediction came true. When he was a young man and got sick, he discovered painting. And again, as an older man, when he got sick, he discovered a new kind of art form that's kind of like painting, but in a different way, placing shapes of paper on another paper. He says, it seems to me that I am second in life. Paper cutouts covered his walls. One evening, Matisse lay in bed and drew the faces of his grandchildren on the ceiling with a piece of chalk tied to a long pole. As he fell asleep, they looked down on him and saw his dreams. They saw the shapes that surrounded him in sleep. As time went on, Matisse cut bigger and bigger shapes. 
They filled his seaside room with color. And he said, you see, as I am obliged to remain often in bed, I have made a little garden all around me where I can walk. There are leaves, fruits, a bird. I love it. He's cutting out these collages of paper and just making his whole space filled with color. He says, I am deeply contented, happy. That's just beautiful. Then one night, Matisse walked out into his paper garden and the rainbow of shapes cradled the old artist and carried him into the heavens. Are some of the stars we see at night coming to us from Henry Scissors? Perhaps. The end. Here's an author's note. Author's notes are often included in nonfiction texts or informational texts to help us give context to the story we just read. And this says, Henry Matisse was born in France in 1869 and lived most of his life in Paris, where he was the forefront of avant-garde painting. At age 72, Matisse became seriously ill and survived surgery for cancer. His body was frail, but not his spirit. Matisse began anew with colored paper and a pair of scissors. He died in Nice in 1954. I have only seen reproductions of Matisse's large cutouts until I visited the National Gallery in Washington, D.C. in 2001, when I saw the enormous wall-sized images there, I felt that I was inside Matisse's garden, surrounded by his colors and shapes. That experience was the epitome for this book. Most helpful to me as I worked were Matisse's own words, especially those from his correspondence with his old friend and writer, Andre, which can be found in Matisse, A Second Life, which is by Hazen and was published in 2005. And here is another quote. Though produced by a very old man who was mortally ill, the cutouts seem to come from the springtime of the world. And that's a quote by John Russell from the New York Times. And that's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed Henry Scissors. <laughs>